morning so it is Monday 9th of July I think cool that's a racket going out there um, it's bin day as you can hear this morning I'm going to the hospital actually and I'm having a scan on my kidney and bladder region um, I think they call it a renal scan um, as you guys know over the last probably about a year or so I've been having recurring kidney infections antibiotics don't seem to be preventing them or shifting it completely and it's been very difficult to deal with actually um, and even when I, I'm well um, I don't get the relief um, I used to get from going to the toilet anymore like I always feel like I could go again um, so every journey now is a bit anxious and I always need to know that I can access the loo very quickly and I just it's just horrible to feel like you could always go for a wee. It's very weird never feeling like, you know, you've emptied fully. Um, so I went to the doctor recently and did a urine test while I was there and it came up with a few things in the urine that shouldn't be there. Um, so there was blood in the urine, uh, loose sites, I think that's how you say it, and something else, which my, my mind's gone blank. And I kind of knew that because I've been monitoring my urine at home using some strips um, that I got online and I knew that it was saying that there was still something going on in there and it wasn't clear. She went on to ask me whether I've had any issues with my ovaries and um, anyway it needs to be checked out so hopefully by the end of today we will know a bit more what's going on and whether there's anything we need to do moving forward so um, I'm feeling a little bit nervous not going to lie, um, because you know you never know what they're going to find and your life could change drastically or it could be exactly the same in an hour's time and it's a bit of a weird feeling that. But before the test they want you to um, fill your bladder because they need to see what it looks like full and then I'll have to empty it so I guess they can see you know how it's functioning, whether it empties fully and that sort of thing. Um, so they have asked me to drink two litres of water, not two litres, two pints of water, which for me is a lot of water to hold in my, what feels like a pea-sized bladder, but anyway, that's what they need to do. So I've got these quilted, for sumptuous softness, Kotex pads, which basically like adult nappies, they're like the four out of five strength, so I've got one of them in just in case I have an accident in the car on the way there. Um, so yeah, that's probably stressing me out the most, just the amount of water I have to drink and the, the amount of time that I have to hold it, but hopefully we'll get there okay. Right, so I'm going to pack a spare pair of trousers and a spare pair of pants just in case. Hopefully I won't need you. Hello, so it is Tuesday the 10th of July, I think. Um, in the midst of the chaos of getting ready for 2000 trees, well not me, Sai is going um, and it's his first three day festival and he's taking the, the vegan food stall there. So he's currently loading the van and this week he's made 80 loaves of seitan, um, which is 800 portions of the Philly cheesesteak. He's made all the jackfruit, chopped up all the peppers, the onions, everything. It's been absolutely crazy. Um, but hopefully it will all go really well for him. Unfortunately, I couldn't afford to go to 2000 Trees, um, so I can't be there to help him this time, but hopefully the people he's got on board to help will keep him sane, keep him relaxed, and just help it all run as smoothly as possible. If I'm speaking weird, it's because my ear is blocked again. I don't know why it keeps happening, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's not painful, it's just annoying. Um, so tonight I'm off to Hyde Park for the press opening of British Summertime Hyde Park. So we're going to be going to the, the cinema, the outdoor cinema, to watch The Greatest Showman, which is great. I, I love the film, I've seen it already, but I'll have a good old sing-song. Um, we're going to be trying out the food stalls and just having a general kind of introduction to the space. Um, and I was allowed to bring a plus one, so I'm bringing my friend Holly. So I'm going to meet her at Marble Arch because she's working up in town this week. Oh, just to catch up with you after my test yesterday. So, it, I wasn't very impressed with um, the service, shall I say, at the hospital. 
just bizarre and it was there was a point where me and the other people in the waiting room were just giving each other glances because we're like what is going on just the way we've been spoken to just the general running it wasn't great um but we got seen in the end and i didn't pee myself but i made it through and um so i had the ultrasound um scan and he didn't really talk much during it which didn't make me feel very relaxed um and you know your mind starts you know going into overdrive and thinking the worst and there are times when he'd spend quite a long time on a particular area and i'd be like oh my god is that because he's found something but he wasn't saying anything and then he'd like go over the area again and make me change you know my body so basically it's you have this kind of cold gel put on your stomach in the same way you do um I guess when you have your pregnancy scan and he was looking at my bladder and kidney areas he did say that on first inspection he couldn't see anything too untoward but the only thing he noticed was that my bladder despite drinking the amount they asked was only three quarters full um yet I was still desperate to go to the toilet so that's a bit weird like why do I feel so desperate when it's not even full so that needs exploring but there didn't seem on first inspection anything too severe or anything to worry about but he said he'll obviously have a further look at all the pictures he took and he'll be sending a letter to my doctor so it'll be about a week's time for me to hear um so completely painless um the worst bit was drinking all that water before when you're not thirsty and you're forced to drink two pints of water you actually feel quite um nauseous it's not a very pleasant feeling but so that was the worst thing and just being desperate for the loo and not knowing when you'd be called for your appointment that was the worst part of it but that's not too bad at all um so when i got home an appointment that i that i had um scheduled for the 2nd of august um it was actually going to end up being today um but then I got a call later on in the day saying the doctor's been called away in, on an emergency so that can't happen anymore so we haven't rescheduled that one and that's for um, an appointment with a rheumatoid uh, pain management specialist um, to look at my bones and joints and things like that um, so I don't know when that's going to be now but sure it's just good to have some movement and for people to actually be taking an interest I guess so we're here in Hyde Park. It's a glorious sunny, glorious. sunny evening and we've been given um, food and drink tokens. So we're just scouting around Hyde Park to find the optimum vegan uh, food uh, stall, that's the word, um, yes. because we want to pick wisely. I'm very distracted because there's an amazing dog in front of me right now. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> but the, it's so lovely here and so chilled. If I lived in London, I'd literally come here every night and think, oh my god, let's see if we can get the dog in the front. Can you see? Oh, what, the pizza? Mac and cheese. Oh, vegan mac and cheese. Let's have a look. Yeah. Think. It's all yeah. yeah, we haven't lucked out there. Okay, onwards. Lead the way, Holly. Lead the way. <laughs> onwards. <laughs> so, what have we got here? Fried chicken and falafel. No. <laughs> oh, the Indonesian coconut. Co oh, there we go. There's the dog I was talking about. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. For me, it's between the vegan curry or the vegan paella yeah but then i know that you don't you're not a mushroom gal. i'm not for me at the moment paella is winning i'm a mushroom gal you are but, but we can let's do another we can circle again we've got let's time do another, let's do another lap yeah we want to make a good decision no regrets nope. oh. what drink are you gonna have oh Oh, Pim's lemonade might be lovely. I might get a Pim's, you know. Do you reckon they put fruit in it? I hope so. Oh, sun. <laughs> no, you've really sold them. Holly's described them as sweating but in the sun. A good, a good kind of sweat. Like moist, I mean. Yeah, look, guys, <laughs> vegan and gluten free salted caramel brownies. Mm. I mean, this all looks delicious, but I'm glad they catered to us here. So what is this place called? Brown 
on it. It's so <laughs> inventive. That's what it says. <laughs> Dangerously good chocolate brownies. Wow. <laughs> so we found our little spot in Hyde Park to watch The Greatest Showman. We've got a really good, good view and we have some pims to enjoy and a vegan uh, chocolate, what's it called? Salted caramel chocolate brownie as well. So I'm going to leave you now because I want to enjoy a bit of Zac Efron singing his lungs out and looking gorgeous. So see you later. after we're out of the World Cup. I'm trying to be optimistic and happy but oh I feel so sad about it. I really believed it was gonna happen. Maybe I just got ahead of myself but I was really enjoying like the good feelings we're having here in the UK. The unity, the positivity. It just felt really nice and I think we all were just really enjoying it. But at the same time I'm quite excited for the future of football. Because none of those players are at their peak yet. Maybe Henderson is, but the rest of them, they've got such a way to go. Um, and so the next four years, oh, I don't even think how old I'm going to be there. I'm going to be edging 40. Anyway, um, yeah, it's going to be an amazing World Cup the next time around. And maybe the Euros will do really well at. Um, and I guess we should be proud. These guys have done so well and brought the country together. But anyway, <laughs> Devo. Um, so I'm heading up to town today. Um, I'm going to the Mission Impossible screening tonight. So beforehand, me and Amber thought we might do some videos together. Now Amber, I don't know if you're aware of her work, um, but she generally does things like pranks um, and comedy sketches and stuff like that. And she was just like, why don't you do a few with me and see how you get on? Uh, she knows I'm a fan of comedy and she knows I'm a bit silly on my Insta story. So she's like, why don't you just, you know, give it a go so I thought I'd just go around today and we're going to bash them out and just my acting might be absolutely atrocious so it might be a big mistake but you know you've got to challenge yourself sometimes try other things try new things and otherwise what is life so yeah go outside and look at this cute bag that pretty little thing sent me how nice is that going to be for LA if it fits in my luggage oh and by the way I applied for my Esther today uh yesterday and it's been approved today so that is good news, at least I'm going to be allowed in the country. Um, I haven't bought plane tickets yet and I've not booked any accommodation. And I don't have the money to do so yet, but in the next few days I have some paid work. So if they pay fast, hopefully this is going to happen for me. 
<sighs> Pray for me. I've decided to stop and have a little sit down before I see Amber because I'm a little bit early and I found this lovely spot. At, it's called the Redmond Community Centre and there's a lovely garden and there's a lake in the distance where you can see people on boats. It's so beautiful. Another hidden gem of London that I didn't know about. Really nice. And it's a beautiful day today. It was a bit chilly in Surrey actually, but in London it's as hot as you like. Very much like the past few days we've had. It's proper hot here. Um, just trying to soak it up. Ah. Oh, there's a nice breeze as well. It's amazing how much you appreciate a thing like a breeze when you've had one of those really close, humids. Humids? Why can't I talk? Close, humid periods of time. Yeah, it's lovely. Just thought I'd tell you. Just one of those moments where I just feel quite content. Which is so on Monday of this week, I had a busy evening. I went to the rec room to celebrate the release of Mum and Dad, which is a film starring um, Nicolas Cage and Selma Blair. Basically, you're allowed to just smash everything up and you won't get in trouble for it. And I can't tell you what a lovely release that was. I feel like that's something I've needed for at least 20 years and I felt so much better for it. That being said, <laughs> I did need to recover the whole of the next day because I think that's the most physical exercise I've done in 10 years and while it felt good in the moment afterwards I was like I feel like I've done a marathon anyway it was super fun very much recommend it to anyone that can get down I think it's open on the 21st to the public wearing a boiler suit I stripped out of that to reveal my premier dress and I headed over to uh, Hammersmith Apollo where I was meeting my mum because I was allowed to take her to a premiere which was such a lovely thing to do because it's just nice to share these experiences with the people you love and it's something that we'll look back at fondly when we're older and <laughs> more ancient than we are now Hands down the most fun premiere I've been to. Not only had they made a real effort with the with the carpet area with lots of flowers that are very reminiscent of that you see in Mamma Mia, you know, there's really bright pink flowers with the blue and the white backgrounds. Pretty much all the cast was there, speaking to fans, walking on the red carpet, posing for pictures. So everyone, I think except Julie Walters, so the Cher, Meryl Streep, Colin Firth, Piz Brosnan, Lily James, Amanda Seafried. Christine Baradsky, all the legends. Did I say Cher? Well, either way, she deserves a separate mention. And then when we were in there, we watched the film and people were singing, people were dancing. Now, at the end, it's quite rare actually for all the actors to stay and watch the film, but they all stayed and they were all on the balcony above us and all singing and dancing to the last number. And it was just so nice to see Meryl Streep and Pierce Brosnan singing and dancing together in real life. Just really nice.
but I'm going to say it anyway. Share and be all your best. Wednesday the I'm gonna say 18th of July I hope it's about right um god what a hectic few days weeks it has been I feel like I haven't talked to you guys properly in ages um yeah vlogging has felt almost impossible just because it's been so non-stop I don't feel like I would have found any time to edit the vlogs and a lot of the things I've been doing have been super stressful and I don't think you need that you want happy summer vibes um so today we're right back to present day now. So in about half an hour, I'm going to head to the train station. I'm heading to Bournemouth, um, where I am going to be going to Lush HQ. So I'm going to be in the factory. I'm going to make some of their products. I'm going to speak to one of the co-founders. Um, I'm just going to have a really fun packed day with them down there. So I'm really excited about that. I thought it'd be silly not to vlog it because I wanted to show you all like the processes behind making these bath bombs that we use every week when we want to pamper and all the products that we know and love so i hope you enjoy it i need to bring you up to speed a little bit so last time you saw me i think i was talking about heading to bournemouth for the lush trip so i went to my station which is in walton and thames uh to head to woking which is where the first stop is on my journey to bournemouth and i looked at the thing and it said delayed 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 all trains delayed to working direction and after 40 minutes a train um arrived then i got a call from my manager saying um okay so amber who's the other blogger that was going to the trip um there's an, she's in london and there's no trains going to bournemouth till after 9 p.m um so um what, what should we do and i was like well I need to know now what we're doing because there's a train that can get me there so I need to know now whether I should get on the train or not so he said okay I'm just gonna make an executive decision um, we're cancelling the trip um, because he knew that the PR was in the same position as Amber and wouldn't have been able to get to Bournemouth so I'd be going to Bournemouth and there'd be no PR there from Lush and none of the events or the things planned or itinerary would have happened because I would just be there on my own um, so yeah so I ended up just going home after being at the station I don't know 40 minutes sitting waiting for a train just went home which was a bit deflating um, but it's one of those things you can't do anything about it the trains at the moment are bloody awful very unreliable and just consistently mucking up everyone's plans I just felt really bad for the Lush team because this has been weeks in the planning uh, you know they've booked hotel rooms for us they've booked um, lots of activities and meals and things like that and all that has gone to waste so I'm really sorry about that for them I mean we me and Amber will hopefully reschedule another time but obviously I'm going to be away now uh, for the whole of August so I don't know when that will be so now it is two days later it's Friday so yesterday because I had this day that I didn't expect to have which is a bit annoying because originally I had a hospital appointment um, yesterday with a rheumatology expert, expert specialist, that's the word, um, which I cancelled for the Lush trip. And you know how hard it is to get appointments. So now I don't know when that appointment is going to happen and I really need that appointment. So that was frustrating. I also turned down at some work with uh, Mamma Mia film um, because of the Lush trip. So it, I was feeling a bit frustrated, but I was like, I can't do anything about that. Let's change the mindset. What can I do with this surprise day off? So I decided to be super productive. I tidied my room. I got all the clothes that I want to take on holiday organised. So I steamed them all. I've actually already packed my suitcase. A bit premature, I know. But I just wanted to see what room I have left, if there's anything I need or can add in as an extra. Um, I've also kind of planned... A lot of the holiday booked the car um i can't remember if i've even told you but yeah i'm finally sorting out the california holiday um for ben and jen's wedding um we've left it all very last minute purely because we haven't had the money to actually pay for anything but 
the flights have come through the third party place i used weren't dodgy and they're legitimate flights i've checked so that's good that panic's over got the car insurance got my esther um got my travel insurance uh so we're getting there I've, i think i've booked four or four or five airbnbs now um so i need to pick book a couple more and yeah i think that brings you up to speed uh, so today we've got another kind of off day from work um, we're going to Fraser and John's family home um, to dog sit their cockapoo dog uh, Bailey is he a cockapoo? cockapoo? <laughs> I actually I think he's a miniature poodle yeah he's a miniature poodle um, but he looks like a cockapoo and he's called Bailey and he's dark chocolate brown and he's adorable but sometimes he's not as um i don't know as cuddly or friendly as we'd like i guess because we're not familiar to him yet but we're hoping today he's going to be super cuddly because we both want some doggy cuddles today anyway so we're heading there now we're going to spend the majority of the day there and i'm going to bring my laptop and just book the rest of the trip and hopefully get Sai to help me with some of it so today's dog sitting hasn't exactly panned out how we'd hoped because bailey is a little bit um timid shall we say it's, i'm not sure that it's timidness i think it's more that got slight separation anxiety and it just seems a bit sad as soon as fraser left um she seems just really upset but this is the cutie pie she's just stayed in john's room the whole time anyway i thought i'd show you because you're still a cutie aren't you even if you don't want to hang with us downstairs as long as you're all right, that's the main thing. Oh, but when you're that cute, I just want you to snuggle with me. Mm. I'll leave you to it. You know where we are if you need us. So I'm just still trying to book some more Airbnbs for California. We're just deciding whether on the way back from Yosemite, whether we want to stop off maybe in Malibu for a night or whether we want to go to LA and then just have you know four nights in one place um that we can travel from keep our stuff at and not have to move around because till that point the first week we're at a different place each night which is going to be quite tiring and you can't unpack or anything like that you're going to be living out of the bag so it might be the best plan if we do that but we're going to see if we can save any money by staying with Ben and Jen any of those days and then we can then have a bit more money to um you know have meals out and things like that so still a bit of a way to go so just waiting on whatsapps and stuff to see how we can proceed we just watched a crazy um documentary on netflix recommended by my friend amy about these base jumpers who um do some crazy scary stuff in yosemite off um El Capitan and the Half Dome, which are like the two biggest um, cliff faces in Yosemite. It's weird how humans can be so different. Like, I can't think of anything worse than hanging on the side of the cliff without any sort of security. Not security, what's it called? Any sort of. You know what I'm saying. Terrifying. We were getting sweaty palms just watching it. Hi, gang. It's Saturday. I've got another kidney infection. So everything is off for today, um, but on the upside that is why you've got this vlog because I thought let's do something productive even though I'm feeling a bit crappy. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this kind of mishmash of some things I've done in the last month um, and if you've made it to the end you courageous heroes and heroines um, put in the comments P problems and then I'll know. Thanks for watching, see you in a vlog soon bye hope you're all well <laughs>